guys, I have not vlogged today and it is almost 12, no, is it 12 or 11.30? Well, 10 to 12. I, uh, look what I did, Ash. Cleaned all over here. Your food. No, you're supposed to go, Mom, that looks great. In here, look here. Get rid of everything off the side. Your things are against here, the weigh-in machine thing for food. Oh, okay. But I started cleaning and I started cleaning upstairs a bit. So, trying to get stuff done. The sun is out. Are you in the shot? I can't see. You are. All right, I have to clean up from Louis like three different places. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get going now over to Costco. Ah, she's coming with me. Can't see, it's so bright. I'm gonna have to put you down, otherwise I'm gonna fall. All right, guys, I'm gonna sit you there. I'm gonna sit, leave it like this. <laughs> Guys, if you're looking for a new program on Netflix, Ashley recommends Riverdale. Anyway, I'm going to show you what we got from Costco. Did not uh, vlog in there. It wasn't too bad, to be honest, but by the time I thought about vlogging, I was already <laughs> in the line to come out. So, didn't get a lot, but got a lot, if that makes sense. A lot of meat to make different meals. So anyway, I did get this we have a fridge downstairs so that's why I did it because we just cleaned it out so I have a butter lettuce I thought could use those for BLTs as well as salad I got these uh, ready-made sandwiches Pete likes these Pete's in and out quite a bit this week and going in early missing lunch to go to do pictures for the yearbook for the winter sports um, so I figured at least this he loves these especially the Italian side and then I got <laughs> the smallest bag of carrots I could find. Um, these, but I don't mind because they do have the closure thing. So, and then I got two of these lasagnas. I thought it was one. Pete and I like lasagna. Ash doesn't like it anymore, but um, Italian sausage and beef. Uh, it says microwavable, but I don't. I put it in the oven. And these, there was actually two. So that's good. Uh, again, they didn't have a smaller bag of mixed veggies, but there you go. These King's Hawaiian, because they're good when you do meals. Oh, i got to put you on charge. Some mushrooms. The tzatziki, tzatziki sauce, which goes with what we had last night, but we didn't like the sauce that came with it, so I've got that for next time. Um, I got these pork chops. Ash doesn't eat pork chops either, unfortunately, but there's nine here. Put them in packs of three, and um, it's only fifteen seventy nine for nine pork chops, so it's good. And then these two, I figured one Sunday I'll do a roast, but tonight I'm going to put the smaller one in the crock. For today I'm going to put the smaller one in the crock pot, because I've got my sauces from Tastefully Simple. Um, that's why I got mushrooms, because it's a mushroom sauce, and I've got mashed potatoes and stuff. I forgot to get the potatoes but I have a thing of mashed potatoes, and then we just got a pack of four pizzas. Ash and I are gonna put one of those in the oven now. A bottle of Coke. Okay, so the freezer, I completely cleaned out the freezer, took all the old stuff out, put two massive loads out for the garbage men tomorrow. And uh, this is all the meat, packaged it all up. I tell you what, those pork chops were definitely worth it. They're about two, two and a half inches thick, each one. So nine for, 15 bucks, 16 dollars, whatever. Pretty good. It's full of drinks. 
um, so you have to ignore that but yeah managed to get everything in here which is good I'm gonna chop up some of those mushrooms after to put in with dinner there's the potatoes some peppers and salad and different things so this is in did the smaller one with the sauce from Tastefully Simple which is savory wild mushroom slow cooker sauce and it is so good so that will cook for tonight and everything's put away so now I can finish my pizza and sit down for a bit oh two more things to put away and then I gotta clear off this table because that's enough already Christmas is over so all these goodies have to go away hi everyone hope you're doing well lights not good that way Sue it's bright out um, I just come back up here. I've gotten changed into like PJs and it's only it's 10 to 4 but I'm going to do a little bit of work on the computer. I did not get to what Pete needed done. We didn't need it done today. I've already told him that I'll do it tomorrow because I have been, <laughs> I haven't stopped since we got back from Costco. I even ate my pizza standing up. I've been cleaning out. I cleaned out the fridge. I cleaned out the freezer. I cleaned out one of the cupboards that had drinking chocolate and some old um, drinks and things in there that was way out of date and rearranged the corner in there so it's you know that corner of the kitchen so it's not so disgusting then the big tall disgusting it's not so what's the word Sue it's not so cluttered and then that piece in the corner with all the shelves I've cleaned off most of the shelves gone through the papers thrown a lot of things away and put the food processor there which I got which I have not used yet so I put that over there because it's too big to go anywhere else we don't have the cupboard space in our kitchen we literally have no cupboards that's why Pete won't let me give up a cupboard to put in a dishwasher mean but when I went to put the pizza in the oven the I don't know what you call it on the bottom of the oven those things that heat up to cook kind of set on fire it was making this weird popping noise when I opened it up it was smoking and going mad so I turned that off so we can't use the oven right now after I think Pete can replace it he's replaced them before it's such an old oven we've been in this house 20 years and we have not replaced anything except the fridge and the washer and dryer so that was that. So then I, I've just been on a roll of cleaning out and getting rid of clutter. I put out three huge bags of rubbish for the garbage men tomorrow. They're not going to be very happy. And we cleaned out the fridge downstairs in the basement, which had all the Christmas stuff in it. I was down in the basement the other day going, I went, oh no, because I didn't put the food away. I was banished from the kitchen and everything went down there and some of it wasn't shouldn't it should have just gone right out in the bin I think it was the vegetables those mixed vegetables um cauliflower and broccoli and I don't like those on a good day let alone that I eat peas I do peas and carrots not cooked carrots raw carrots very finicky eater I'm such a finicky eater it's too bad we can't get the barbecue out but now Pete has the inside of the garage door he has put all this insulation so you can't open the garage door right now you have to move something and I can't remember what he said Pete tells me the other day well we, we took him out to dinner when was it Sunday we went out and he goes oh by the way I was talking to my brother and I you know we are going to um, take the garage door out close that off and then just put a door in because we don't use it as a garage it's literally all Pete's photography stuff and the barbecue and you know a few of the summer chairs that we've got left and I go, what do you mean you and Pat were talking about it and that's what you're going to do? I said, aren't, that's his brother, aren't you supposed to talk to me about it? <laughs> oh, didn't, didn't I mention it to you? I'm like, just now, like, is this your house and his house or is it our house? <laughs> Don't really care one way or another. The garage door is a mess. Pete's father kept saying that we should just close that off, but you have to have some way of getting in through there just in case. So Pete's just going to put a door in there which will definitely keep out some of the cold and keep in some of the heat. He's going to insulate the roof and stuff. So that way the room, the little room, which I call the junk room, will be a little insulated and shouldn't get as cold. It's already better from what he's just done. So, yeah. So it's been a, it's been a productive day. I feel good. I'm shattered. <sighs> Could honestly just go to sleep, guys. Anyway, 
I'm going to go check out and see what you guys have been up to on Twitter and YouTube. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you for now. hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Does anybody remember this song by Labouche? Love it. Come on. <coughs> okay, here's dinner. It's meat, veg and potatoes. So let's see how it is. How is it? A knife up? Okay. <laughs> Better than a knife down, I guess. Right, Roxy? Alright, Roxy, it's time to eat. You ate already. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. 28 minutes past 11. Haven't heard from Ash at all. She was on the schedule till 11, but uh, maybe they've gone over tonight like they did last night. But um, yeah, she should be home shortly, I would assume. Hopefully, because she's working a day shift tomorrow. I don't know what time she has to go in. Uh, dinner was really good. Uh, Pete had seconds. He hasn't had seconds in a long time. It's very worth it. So there's about this much meat left. I said, should I throw it or keep it? Oh. Of course, the minute I start talking to you guys, I start yawning. Sorry about that. But he's like, no, no, keep it. So it was a hit. Woohoo. Roxy is not far away. We're all in red tonight, aren't we, Rox? Where's Ash? <laughs> you shot up then, didn't you? She's not home yet, is she? I didn't expect her to shoot up that quick. That was funny. Good response, Roxy. But anyway, guys, I'm going to love and leave you um, for tonight. I hope everybody's had a brilliant... Oh, sorry. Oh. Good night, guys. I hope everybody's had a brilliant, brilliant Wednesday. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow. Good night.